moves it out. A shorthanded chance here for Brooks. Two on one. Cipolo carried. Tried to feed it in front for Zinger, but a back check from Fennig to break it up. Nice chance for Brooks there. Huck is at center ice. And Zinger lays the body on Samard. An open ice hit at center ice. Wins the face off back to Bookman. He creeps into the right circle. Bookman driving to the net. Tries to tuck it five hole, but Fuller makes the save. Tanner Willett carries out to center ice, drops it for Asham Moroz. Dragons picked him up from the Estevan Bruins who are hosting the Centennial Cup in May. Asham Moroz at the right side. Willett just kept it in at the blue line. Let's a wrist shot go, he scores. 5.6%, ridiculous. Off the draw, Bookman creeps in, wrist shot on net, for the save. Puck went off his chest and was loose. And the big forward, Dario Belgio, was net front to try and bat that in, but Fuller then caught it as it was falling and will hang on for a whistle. The assistant coach who joined us on the pregame show. No Kevin Hasselberg on the drum bench tonight. Brooks wins the draw. West Turner shoots off the post and they score! Tie game, 1-1 one, one, I think it was TJ Hughes who knocks in a loose puck off a West Turner point shot. And that's gonna be 64 goals on the season for TJ Hughes. 1-1 one, one here in Drumheller. Minutes to go in the first period, shaping up to be a good one here in Drum, it's 1-1. One, one. Robinson in front, left circle, shoots and scores. Fennig. Still time on the man advantage, 43 seconds. Puck in the near corner for TJ Hughes. He's got a goal tonight. In front for Bookman, shoots and scores! AJHL history made tonight in Drumheller as Zach Bookman will pick up a point here. And he is the first defenseman in AJHL history to score 101 points in a season. Congratulations, Zach. And we are tied 2-2. How many times have uh, we been in the building where an individual league record was set? Turnover, the Dragons score. Here has his man, Deneau, tied up. One minute gone in the second period. Bandits down a goal on the kill as Nick DeGraves gets hauled down by his stick. Loose puck in front, Deneau shoots and scores. They're just an hour and 20 up the road from Brooks. Puck comes towards Robinson, falls over. McAllister recovers. He shoots and scores. Bandits claw back to within one. A miscue from Keanu Robinson, who lost an edge, fell over, holding that puck, gives it to the AJHL's leading scorer, Ryan McAllister, who slips it past Fuller. It's 4-3 drum. 55th goal of the season. Asham Rose up the left wing, give and go with Tanner Willick. Barwick out of his net, comes in front. Belitsky puts it in and scores. By Tanner Willick. Midway through the second period. Bandits down by two. DeGraves holds at the right point for Bookman. Wrist shot, scores! Bandits back within one midway through the second period. Zach Bookman, a wrist shot from the blue line that sneaks through. I think Anthony Cipolo tips it and redirects it past Fuller. It's a 5-4 drum lead. For Fink, hangs on to it, then drops it back for Buckberger. Left circle, McAllister kicks save Fuller. In front for Hughes, scores! Tie game, 5-5. Five, five. Second of the game for T.J. Hughes. 65 goals on the year, and it's 5-5. Five, five. Point. Bandits looking for their first lead. Bookman shimmies over to the left circle, draws behind the net. Bookman throws it in front, bouncing puck. Fuller looking to cover. Finally, he will. Aquilo. The right point, Zach Bookman. Multi point game for Bookman. Over to the left circle. TJ Hughes, one timer. What a save by Fuller. The net by Hughes. And Fuller, I think he got a stick on it. Yeah, he just uh, guessed right. 16 seconds on the power play, Hughes shoots, scores! Hattrick, TJ Hughes. Bandits have their first lead of the game on a forehand shot that beats Fuller with 5.20 to go in the second. Fennig up the left wing for Prasovsky, put it in front for the Dragons, trying to tip it wide left. Beckford got a piece of it, down and out, Prasovsky scores. Good job by Turner. Robinson, left circle, tried to feed it to Deneau, picked off by Hughes, Fink's out of the box, they kill it off. Here's a breakaway, Aiden Fink, shoots, stopped by Fuller, rebound goes off, Finnig and in, and the Bandits score! 7-6, Brooks, 
aided Fink on a breakaway shoots. It's stopped by Fuller. Rebounds authentic into the net. Bandits have the lead. Blackballs will be playing their final regular season game at home for a home playoff date. Not me. Robinson shoots on net, it trickles in, and it's waved off. Move it out, Fenning takes it away. Behind the net for Prasovsky. In front, one-timer, no. Back for the save. Trump fans thought they scored, it stays out. Wrap around Fenning, diving save book, but he took a stick to the face. Ref in great seconds. position behind the net. Ref never signaled a goal, the fans thought they had scored. Nine seconds on the clock, puck still in the brook set. Prasovsky shoots, stopped by Beckford. Puck comes in front, Deneau chops it on net, rebound. They gotta stop the clock here, the bandit net is off. Ryan frees it up, comes to Juhas, shoots wide left, that's the game, the Bandits win. 7-6 is your final. A come from behind victory tonight for Brooks. They were down 5-3 at one point. They rallied, they took a 6-5 lead, Drum ties it up 6-6, but then Aiden Fink scores the game winner in the third, and the Bandits win 7-6.